lot better than a frog. What's the baby girl? The stuff that I gave you. So the frog, it's a lot better than a frog, even though it's over there. Because you can't get bandit suits anymore. I ain't want a frog. Then right girl, I'll trade in Australia and help you for it, okay? Okay. But you have to give me back my bandit suit. Yes. Yeah. Hi. Hi guys. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hello guys. I I I. I I I. Hi. I. Stop. Hi. Right Hi. 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 Get off. Back of the cat. Nope. more minutes. Tucker, is your sister going to join us? No. No, oh, okay. Started here. <laughs> All 
Oh, if it's me, it's it. And come down. Now let's warm it up a little bit, hands in the hips. Turn and hold your neck to the left. Hana, do it, sit, 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 and to the other side. Hana, do it, sit. And up to the middle now. Try and touch your chin to your chest. And up. All right, from here at this time, interlock your hands together. Waist rotations. Two counts to the left, two counts to the right. Ready? Spread your feet, two shoulders apart. Face to your right, set your head to your leg and hold. Yeah. 
Stand up. This time to the middle. Try and touch your elbows and your forehead to the ground in front of you. Hana! And uh, bring those feet together, legs straight out in front of you. Kind of curl your toes down so that you're trying to touch the floor with your toes. Reach around the outside of your legs and try and grab your heels. Hana! together now. Butterfly stretch. Push those knees all the way to the floor blade. And uh, go ahead and stand up please. Turn around picture the walks. Check out your legs just a little bit, please. All right. From here, everyone, jump in. Ready position. All right, right leg back, fighting stance and heel. All right, so real quick. Make sure that you have enough room behind you to move back one step, all right? So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna work on what we call the Hujin step or the backward shuffle step, okay? So from here, what, what I'm doing from here is I'm going to move my front foot backward to my back leg, right? So I'm gonna move my left leg back to my right leg and then I'm gonna move my right leg back, okay? So from here, I'm shuffling one like this, okay? From here, once I do that, I'm gonna do a front kick off the back leg and put it down in front, all right? Then I'll do my back fist punch, and I'll come back to my fighting stance. If you do this correctly, you're gonna stay in place, right? You're not gonna move back anymore, right? You're gonna be basically in place. So from here, you shuffle back, you kick, back fist punch, kick up, my fighting stance, and you should be right back where you started. Okay? So the key here is to make sure front foot moves. Okay? Front foot moves first. Front foot, then back foot. Don't start to move it with back foot and then front foot. Okay? It's always front foot first and then back foot and then kick. All right? So Hujin step, front kick, everyone. Back foot punch. Ready? Come on. Double back, kick, one, two. All right? After you kick, remember, put it down in front. Okay, now we're gonna do the other leg. Okay, the other leg now, left leg kicking. Good, shuffle back, kick, oh yeah, all right? So you're moving backward away from the screen, and then you're gonna land toward the screen. Ready, set, one, kick, and down. Good. You should be right back where you started in your original position. Ready, net. All right, good. Ready, let's up. There you go. All right, you shouldn't be moving backward at all. You should still be in place. Here we go. All right. All right. There you go, good. Oh. Move backward. Right. There you go, Mr. Mr. Riker. Good. Go. All, right. All right, so it's very important. If you're having a hard time staying in place, right, you're doing one of two things wrong. Right? Usually, if you're doing it, usually you're moving back like first. Okay, that's the first thing you're doing wrong. 
The other thing that you're doing wrong is when you shuffle back, sometimes when you kick and you put it down, you put it down very shallow, very close to your foot. Okay? So, right, this stance that you're in, this traditional stance that you're in, after you kick and you put it down, right, you should be in another traditional stance. Okay, not a short stance like this. All right, sit down into a good back stance for you when you land. So shuffle back, you land in back stance. You kick, you put it down in front in back stance. And then you shift to punch into front stance. And then you come back to back stance. Okay? So now as you're doing this, the other thing, if you want to kick faster, as you shuffle back, when the back leg touches the ground, it comes up right away. Okay? So don't do this. Don't lean back and then kick. That's too slow. Okay? This is a very quick movement. So as you step back, keep your body straight. Here. Don't lean back. Here. And then as soon as it touches, it comes right up. Okay? Quickly. All right, so what we're going to do now is Pujin step. We're going to do axe kick, right? So shuffle, one, two. Okay, quickly. So Pujin step, axe kick. All right, ready? Ta-da! One, one. Hey. Three. Shuffle back, and hey. two. There you go. Set. One, two. Hey. There we go. Good. Excellent. You should be in place. Set. Shift back and kick. Touch. Shift back and kick. Touch. Shift back and kick. There we go. Good. Here go. One, two. Get on. One, two. Good. Hope. One, two. One, two. One, two. All right, good. Much quicker. Excellent movement. Good. So now, same movement. Who just step? Let's do roundhouse kick now. Roundhouse kick. All right, so step back one and then right away, roundhouse. Now, concentrate on your backless punch movement. Okay? You guys are so worried about the kick movement, the hands just kind of go like this. All right? There's no energy, there's no effort. All right? So once again, I'm right, trying to get you guys ready to test at some point next belt. So as you shuffle back and you kick, you land. One. As soon as that, from, that foot touches, the kicking foot touches the ground, back foot should happen, then punch, come back to your fighting stance. All right, ready. Ta-da! Shift back, kick. Right. There you go, good. Right. Excellent. Set. Perfect, right. good. Set. There we go. Good. Light on the feet, right? Set. Set. There we go. Good. Go. Nice. Good movement. There you go, Mr. Rogan. Excellent. Hope. All right, same thing once again, everyone. Keep, let's work that roundhouse kick a little bit more. So, Hujin step, roundhouse kick. Blue belts will know, Hujin step, double roundhouse kick, low and high. Okay? Once again, remember when you kick low, don't kick the ground. Don't kick toward the ground. You're going to stub your toe. Okay? So, you step back, kick toward the front, low, and then get your second kick up as high as you can. Okay? All right? For, for adults, if you can get knee level, waist level, or knee level, chest level, that's going to be good enough for us, okay? But make sure that first kick is higher than normal, because I know a lot of times what you try to do to try to get that second kick up high, we kick down more, okay? And most of your places, you only have like a little bit of shag carpet as cushion. You don't have a lot of cushion before you hit the ground, so you want to make sure you don't accidentally bump our toe on our carpet or the, the cement floor that we're standing on or the wood floor. So 
Make sure that you get your footing down as you're doing this. All right, ready? Once again, everyone. Pujin step, roundhouse kicks. Blue belt stand up. Pujin step, double roundhouse kicks. Ta-da! There you go, good. Keep your hands up. Good back fist punch for me. Remember, after the kick, as soon as the kick touches the ground, back fist and kick touching the ground at the same time. Excellent. Good. Oh, you gotta be quicker, Mr. Tucker. There you go, that's better, good. Keep those hands up, Miss Sabina. Don't let your hands come apart like this, Miss Sabina. Keep those hands tight. Good. Side kick. So who can step one, shuffle back one, and then side kick off the back, like put it down, back fist punch. Now this one here is hard to go fast, right? If you go fast with this technique, you're gonna make your kick, you're gonna make your kick sloppy or not correct for a side kick, right? So I want, I just want to make sure I'm gonna count slower, take your time, shuffle back, give me a good thrust, side kick forward. Okay, don't try to rush that side kick and throw a different kick, right? Like a roundhouse kick type of a kick, right? Remember side kick, we have to push our knee forward toward the target. Push, 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 all right? So who just step side kick, ready? All right, there we go, good. You gotta pivot more, Miss Alice. Toes need to be sideways. You too, Miss Sabina. You need to pivot more. It's up. You're up. There you go, Miss Katie. It's pretty good. Come on, Mr. Uh, come on, Mr. Riker. Oh. Uh, Ms. Daniels, perfect. Very good. All right, same thing, everyone. All right, we're going to work a little bit more on that side kick. Blue belts and up. Who's in step? Double side kick. Knee level, face level, right? Once again, just like double roundhouse kick, kick out in front of you, not down. Ready? Hana! Hey, make sure you're thrusting that side kick forward toward the screen there, Mr. Tucker. Set. Push, push, there you go. Push that knee toward me, right? Set. Make sure those toes are sideways. All right. Touch. Hey. There you go, Miss Katie. Good. Touch. Ah, uh, not too bad, Mr. Rogan. Remember, on the double side kick, the second kick is the one that we want to put all of our power in. First kick is just a fake. All right. Touch. There you go, Mr. Riker. Good job. Awesome. There you go. Look straight to the window. Look toward the window there, Mr. Riker. Hope. All right. One more. All right. So now this time from here. All right. This one's a little bit trickier. So you guys are staring at the screen right now. Right, Mr. Riker, you're looking at the window, right? 
So you're gonna scoot, you're gonna scoot back away from the screen or away from the window, and then you're gonna turn to your back and do reverse side kick, knife hand plunge. So you're kicking towards the screen still. Right? That's the thing about uh, who you step. You step back and you're gonna turn and kick toward the screen, even though you're moving the other way. Okay? So who just step reverse side kick? Ready? Hello! Kick toward the screen. Okay? And then remember it's a knife hand strike and punch. Knife hand is neck level, punch is chest. Okay? Who just step and kick? Good. And it's the same thing, right? Just like that round house kick. As soon as that back leg touches, it comes up right in the air. Quickly. Okay? Ready? Set. Ready. There you go. Keep those hands up. Set. Ready. All right. Those of you who free spar, right? Who spar with the gear on and everything, right? This is a lot of the technique that you should be using in fight, when you fight, right? You step back to avoid getting kicked, and then you kick them, right? Kick the person that's kicking you. Ready, set. Good, there you go. Once again, try not to lean. Try not to lean back and then kick. That's too slow. Good. Hope. Right. There we go. Good. One more. Good. Right. Excellent. Good. All right. So, yellow belts, senior yellow belts, green belts, you guys are going to do the exact same thing. Right? So, who can step back and then the reverse side kick towards your screen? Everyone else, senior green belts and up, who can step and then reverse spinning hook kick. Right? So, when you do that reverse spinning hook kick, once again, don't make this movement really big. Don't try to swing the leg really wide. Okay? That's too slow. Right? Throw the reverse side kick here and then hook right here. So, from here, I'm going to kick right at like the corner of my screen. And then I'm gonna hook, makes it much quicker, right? You can move quicker and then you throw that technique faster, okay? Don't start that kick way out to the side like this and then come around really big, okay? You just need to hook from here to here, that's it. This much space, okay? From shoulder to shoulder, that's all you need for your hook. All right, let's try it, who's in step? Reverse spinning hook kicks for senior green belts and up. Everyone else, who just said reverse side kicks? Hello! Okay, those of you who have pets around, don't kick the pet, don't step on the pet. Ready? Go! Hey! There we go, good. Make sure still, everyone's doing reverse kicks, so it should be a knife hand strike punch. Remember your knife hand starts from your opposite shoulder and comes across your body, okay? Ready, set. Right. Get up on your toes, senior yellow belts and up, right? Kind of like you're doing the twist. Okay, set. Right. Good. Because what should happen is when we hook, right? Boom, it, we're going to probably come back to where we started if we have a good spin and a hook. If we don't, if we get too flat, then a lot of times what happens, you hook like this, and then you kind of fall over to the side, or you fall in front, okay? So if you can, try to relax your body as you hook, and let it follow all the way to the back, and then reset when you're here. Okay, ready, you start. Good. Go. It's important, turn your head. Turn your head and look before you start that kick. There we go. Now you're kicking through the target when you turn that head. Hope. Reverse spinning hook, Mr. Bina, not reverse side kick. All right, ready. Go.
There we go, good. All right, same thing, everyone, one more time. Ms. Daniels, I want you to do a hook kick this time. So Hujin step, step back, pull it across, hook kick, that motion there. All right, everyone else, we're doing the exact same thing, please. Okay, ready, Hana! Ms. Daniels, you'll throw that kick off the back leg, off of your back leg, just like you did with the other kick. Okay, ready, yes, yes, good. Three. Shuffle back, kick off your back leg. Perfect. Set. Hey. There you go, just pick that knee up, Mr. Hammer. Pick that knee up a little bit higher. Set, the kicking knee. Hey. All right, make sure you're turning your head. Turn your head so that you, Spot your target as you're lifting. What's up? Hey, yes, good, excellent. What's up? Hey. Yeah, you too, Mr. Freer. You gotta lift that knee up a little bit higher, sir. The head turn is good. Just lift the knee up a little bit higher. Here we go. Hey. Uh, turn your head, Mr. Francisco Jr. Yeah. Hey. Because we want to make sure that we're kicking straight in front of our body. Okay, on that reverse kick, you want to kick straight in front, not early, not late. Hope. There we go, good. Last one, ready. Uh, Mr. Rogan, you got to extend, straighten out that knee, and then bend, right? All right, everyone, show. come on, show. Relax, go ahead and get some water real quick. Good job, everyone. Hi. Hi. distance outside of our own homes a little bit. Uh, with that in mind, uh, my intention is to reopen Apex up for classes, in-person classes next week. Uh, we'll be using the Sign Up Genius app um, to sign up for classes. Because unfortunately, with the social distancing guidelines, we're going to have to limit the class size to no more than 10 students at Apex. So you'll have to sign up first come, first serve kind of thing. Uh, we just ask that you only sign up for one class per day to give everyone an opportunity to get some in-person training. Um, now, what happens is that in the event that you're there for a class, um, there, the next class might not be completely fill, full in that situation. If you want to stay for a second class, you're more than welcome to. But we just want to give everyone the opportunity to make sure that they sign up for a class who wants to take a class in person. Um, in addition to that, we're still going to do the Zoom classes. That's not going to change. The Facebook Live is all going to be recorded and done um, just like we're doing now. Okay, so now the only um, additional option is the fact that if you want to get out of your house, you're a little stir crazy for being inside the house for a long time, and you want to make the trek up to Apex, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, if you do plan on training at Apex, you need to make sure that you come dressed. So don't, um, don't plan to come and change clothes and do all that stuff. We want to try to minimize the, 
the use of the common space as much as possible to prevent the spread of any type of germs that anyone might have. You must also not be sick. You must not be sick for the last 14 days or so. I will be scanning your forehead for a temperature. You guys are running a fever at all. Because if you guys are running a fever, you will be you will not be allowed to train. You have to go home. All right. And that's just for the safety of everyone else. Okay? So if you do come to Apex to train, bring your own water bottle, come dressed already, right? and have no no sickness, no coughing, no sneezing, no fever. And then I'm gonna check your feet, uh, I'm gonna check your temperature to make sure you don't have a fever. All right. Um, once again, four o'clock, five o'clock, and six o'clock will be the class times for 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 that at Apex. So if you want to get that face to face. Now, some of you guys I know are still paranoid and you're worried about that, that's fine. You don't have to come to Apex at all. All right. If you want to keep training at home, we'll still have Zoom classes going on. It's just going to look different because we'll be doing it from Apex instead of my beautiful downstairs with my Christmas tree. All sure. right. That you guys keep commenting about. So Christmas is 365 days a year here at the Hong house. Right. We celebrate <laughs> Christmas every day. All right. So let's go ahead. And um, what we'll do now is we're going to take the rest of this time, kind of work on some three steps, one step, then takedowns for everyone. All right. Uh, we're going to kind of forego the Pumse piece. Uh, so that you guys get a chance to work on some of the three steps, one steps, and take down movements. All right? Okay, so from here, I'm going to mute you guys again. If you do have a question as we're doing this, I want you to go ahead and uh, wave frantically into your camera screen. All right? To get my attention. Let's go. Okay, so. All right, Isaiah's getting me. Okay, so for me, everyone, jump in. All right, so let's do three sets firing real quick. All right, so remember, Isaiah's punching with his right hand. He's gonna step forward and punch. All right, remember, you wanna step back with your right leg and then push his palm out of the way. Hana! Palm block. Step back. And block. Now remember, you're gonna jump to your left. Lock with your left hand and then double punch. Ready, set. Block, one, two. There we go. Come on. All right, let's try that again for everyone. Those of you who have to do left side, right, you're going to do it with the left this time. So step back with your left leg. Okay, so Isaiah's still punching right hand. Okay, ready? Number one again. Hana! Step back. Three. Okay, now this time, remember, those of you blocking with the, or, Doing the left side, you want to jump to your right this time. Right hand blocks, and then left hand punches, right hand punches. Everyone else, we're jumping the same way to the left. Set. Block. And then apex. All right. Good. Come on. Make sure you're in a good horse riding stance there. All right. Let's do number two real quick. Number two. All right. So from here, remember, left leg steps back. Or to me, right leg steps back. Left knife hand block. Hello. Okay, step back again. There you go. Good. Now remember, this time you're jumping to the right side. Double knife hand chop. Set. Now when you do the double knife hand chop, right hand, palm up. Left hand, palm straight up and down. Okay? Come on. All right, let's try it again. All right? Those of you who have to do left side, this time you're going to step back. All right, this time with your left leg, right hand blocks. Hello. There we go, good. And then step back again, good. All right, those of you doing left side, you're gonna jump to the left this time. And then make sure that your hands come from your left ear. Okay, from your left ear and around, I'm sorry, your left ear and around. Ready, set. All right, those of you, hey, junior students, right, little students, Alice, you should be jumping over to this side, All right? Yeah, you got to hit Isaiah over here, right? Yeah. Come on. 
All right, let's do number three this time. Number three. Okay, Isaiah's in fighting sense. Okay. When he punches, remember, step back with your left leg. Inside out block. Hello. And then step back. Oh, uh, Mr. Daniels, you're going to switch your hand. There we go. Good. Ready? Good. Step back. And block. Good. Now remember, you're going to step to the left. One, two, and then elbow. Three. Good. Step to the left. One, two, and right elbow. Right elbow. Okay. Come on. All right. Same thing once again. Fighting steps. All right. Once again, those of you doing, um, everyone's doing right side except for the adults. We're going to do left side now. All right. So remember that your right leg steps back this time. Ready? Hana! Into that block. Good. And okay, step back again. Good. Now this time, adults, you're stepping to your right. Left leg comes in. Left leg forward. Elbow strike. Good. There we go. Good. Okay, come on. Awesome. Good job, you guys. Everyone doing great. All right, number four this time. Okay, so number four, right? Right leg steps towards your screen. Right? Outside in block. Hello. So remember, right leg steps toward the screen. Out in front. Then right leg steps back, away from the screen. Outside in block. And then left leg steps back away from the screen. Set. Outside in block. And then elbow back fast. One, two. Okay? Come on. All right, once again, fight, um, Isaiah fighting sense. Same thing, everyone. Adults. Right? This time you're going to step with your left leg forward. Left hand outside in block. Hello. Okay, now left leg steps back. Right hand blocks. Good. And one more time. Set. Step back. This time, left hand, elbow back fist. Up your other hand, Mr. Riker. There you go. Okay. Come on. All right. Number five this time. Okay. As is in fighting stance, remember, step back with your right leg. Left rising block. No. Front stance, remember. I right, switch your feet, Miss Alice. Step back, Ooh. rising block. And one more time, Set. step back, rising block, punch, key up. All right, you should be in a good front stance from here. What oh, back to your trim position. All right, everyone, same thing one more time. All right, adults, we're doing left side now. So left leg back, right, rising block. Hello. All right, step back, block again. Ooh. And step back, block, set. This time, punch and key up. Right hand punch, key up. Yeah. Okay, good. Come on. All right, number six now. Number six. So from here, make sure number six. Left leg goes back. Right knife hand block. Hello. All right, Mr. Hammer, your other left leg, sir. There we go. Good. Step back. Ooh. Now remember, you step back, you're going to block. Ready? Set. Block. Grab. Jump. Turn toward the corner and kick. You're going to kick away from your screen. Don't kick toward the screen. Kick toward the back of your room. Away from the screen. Right leg should be kicking there. Then, come on. All right, same thing once again, everyone. Same kick or same thing. Number six, adults, we're gonna do left hand this time. Remember, this time from here. All right, ready? No. There we go. Yes, right leg back, right uh, left circle knife hand. Step back. Ready? Step back. Block. Grab. Jump. Turn, kick to the other corner with the left leg. Left leg needs to kick. All right. So, Mr. Hammer, actually, you're you should be kicking towards your other corner. 
toward this corner here. Yeah, with the left leg. Okay. All right, it gets a little tricky with the screen. All right, come back to Jumbi. All right, so real quick. All right, so adults, when we do that left side, okay. So my right leg is back away from uh, my right leg is back, and I'm doing left hand blocks. My left hand grabs. I'm gonna jump toward this side. One, two, and now I should be facing the back of your. I'm gonna kick toward the back corner of your house, right? There you go. Yeah. So it's it basically the opposite side of the right leg. Okay. All right. All right, so Mr. Riker, Mr. Francisco Jr., you can keep working on those a little bit. All right. All right, so everyone else. All right, let's work on some one steps. All right, so real quick, body stance right there. All right, let's do, we're going to just do right side for the one steps. Right, uh, obviously for senior green belts and up, you have to do left side on those one steps as well. All right. So, Ms. Daniels, you just have to do the right-hand side. So let's do the first one, number one of three-step sparring. So remember, you're going to step to your left. Palm block, double punch. Ready? Hana! One, one, two. All right, and then your double punch. So block and then apex, right? Okay. Ready? Come on. All right, so the second one now, all right? So from here, when Isaiah punches, you're gonna jump to the your right side. Double knife hand chop. Good. All right, one and double chop. Right. All right, come back to Jumbe. All right, number three this time when Isaiah punches. Remember, you're stepping to the left. Right, left, and then right elbow. Set. One, one, two. Right. There we go. Good. All right, come back to Jumbe. All right, remember, fourth one, right leg steps toward the screen, outside end block, and then elbow back fist. Ready? Hana! Mr. Riker, you're going to do three steps sparring, sir. One through six. All six of them. Okay, come on. All right, so the fifth one, when Isaiah punches, you're going to step back with your right leg, left rising block punch. Hana! There we go, good. Come back to jump bed. And then right leg, uh, Isaiah fighting sense. Now from here, remember, from here, when Isaiah punches, right, you're gonna step back with your left leg. Right knife hand block, grab, jump, turn, and kick. Hello! There we go, yes. Come on! All right, so remember now, kind of a playoff of number two. Next one, Isaiah is going to go into punch. Remember, you're going to jump to your right. You're going to do your twin face punch, twin stomach punch. Hello! Yep, so you're aiming for his face with the face punches and then the, his stomach with the double punch. The double punch, the low one, is going to be with the fingernails up. Yeah, kind of like an uppercut. Like you're doing an uppercut, okay? All right. All right, so now this time from here. All right, let's do another one. So let's do the stepping to this side, do your double knife hand chop like number two. So, Hana. All right, so you do your double knife hand chop. Now remember, with your right hand, you're gonna grab the back of the head. You're gonna bring the head down, lift your right knee. And then put it down, turn away from your screen, and do a right elbow strike to the corner of your house. There you go, good. So you want to make sure that from here, your horse riding stance position, once you lift your right knee, bring it straight down to where it was. And then just rotate your hips into a front stance facing to the back of your screen. Okay? So it's one, two, three. Don't beat up mom, Miss Sabina. Be nice to mom. All right. Okay. So, um, and then from here, green belts, you can work on those crescent kick ones, right? We got about six different crescent kick ones. 
Right, remember, right leg steps back. You got crescent kick with the right leg side kick. Right? You got right leg crescent kick, left leg reverse side kick. You got crescent kick with the right leg, left leg reverse spinning hook kick. You also have, remember, a left leg fighting stance. Do inside out crescent kick. Put it down to the side. Right leg roundhouse kick. All right, you have inside out crescent kick. Right leg hook kick. All right, for blue belts and up, you can double those kicks, right? You can do double roundhouse kick, one, two, or roundhouse hook kick. Ms. Daniels, are you okay with your one steps? Hopefully you have about, about 15 different one steps. Yeah. All right, so blue belts and up. Let's do some takedowns real quick. All right. So remember from here, the first one we talked about was that stepping arm with the right leg, doing your outside in block, coming across, slide back with that left leg, elbow, elbow, Grab, right, and then turn to your right, side kick. There we go, right? Okay. And then remember the second one we talked about was stepping inside of his left leg, right, with the left leg, left hand, arc hand, and at the same time, right hand punch. So one, and then gut punch, two. And then remember, you're grabbing his arm, you're gonna pull to your left, or excuse me, pull to the right, slide your left foot to the left. And then, right, for, for the kids, you'll shift and punch. For adults, you'll foot stomp. Because it's too hard to get to the ground, right? Or we're much taller, so, okay? All right, okay, so then we talked about, oh, let's see, we did the one, Right? Where this time you step to the outside of that front leg. Remember? This one here was for the inside. When we step to the outside, you're going to go into front stance, left knife hand block, right hand face punch, one. And then gut punch, two. And then with the right hand, remember, grab behind the leg, sweep, right? And then shift into front stance on your right leg and punch or right foot stomp. All right, so that one there is, remember, we're kind of dipping a little bit, right? We're dipping and attacking this way. One, two, sweep, and then right hand punch. Yeah? So that sweep motion, remember you're coming across like this. Basically grabbing the side of the leg, the outside of the leg, and pulling across. Yeah? All right. So we also did blue belts, right? We did the one where he punches. Remember, you're gonna step to the side. You're gonna do your palm block. One, two. All right, so do my palm block, one, two. And then my right, right hand grab. And then I lift my right leg up. And I do that side kick to the knee. And he falls there. And then I turn it into an elbow strike to the back of the head. Okay. So palm block one, two. So when you jump to the side, you're gonna do palm block with the left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand grab, right leg side kick, left elbow. Okay. Now obviously senior blue belt stuff, you have to reverse the motion too, and you have to do it on this side. All right? So everything is the exact opposite of what I just told you. All right? So, all right. So does anyone have any questions, blue belts, with those takedowns? All right? So that gives you five takedowns right there, all right, that you can work on. Okay? Clean those up. I know some of you guys know other ones, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay? That gives you ones to kind of work on and clean up. All right, we'll start cleaning up some of the other ones, too, as well. All right, good. All right, from here. All right, face me. Okay, our time is up, so great job, you guys.
Hang Kong Have a good night, right? If you have any questions, you can stay on and ask your question. Or you can email me. Eh? Isaiah says bye. Bye. Bye, Isaiah. Bye. bye. All right. Any other questions? No, thanks, sir. Okay, oh. great. Take care, Mr. Hammer. Ms. Daniels, any questions? No, sir. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Bye. All right. Bye, Miss Katie. Hey, Bye, sir, Ms. Actually. Alice. Get ready. All right. Tomorrow's a big day. Okay? Get ready. Make sure you study. Okay? Hey, sir, I do have one question. Yes, sir. Uh, sparring competition team and all that stuff, will you be doing that at the uh, Apex or both still? Um, I will be doing some of that at Apex. Um, I haven't decided how I'm going to do it, if I'm going to do it during the week or if we're going to do it on a Saturday. Okay. Um, that's what I'm kind of trying to determine. I'm, um, cause I'm trying to juggle, um, depending on, cause obviously now I, I'm going to have to make that, that commute down to the school. Uh, whereas I've been kind of working from home on the days that I'm coming from Denver, I have to kind of see, I might try to do it earlier, um, uh, depending, um, I just don't know how that's going to look right now. Uh, my initial thought is to try to do those practices on Saturday. Okay, sir. So we'll cool. do Pumse and, and sparring all at once on, on Saturday. Um, an hour, probably an hour, maybe an hour and a half at most. Um, but uh, like I said, I, I'm still thinking about it. I should, I should know more by the end of the week and I'll have an announcement to that effect. Okay, sir, thanks. All right, you're welcome, sir. Goodbye. Bye-bye. We'll see you guys. Keep working hard.